Hello, Fresh Pants here and welcome to my unit review on Selena the Cutting Wit, a playable mercenary originally from Fire Emblem 14 Fates. I'll be the best in your whole group. It's just a matter of time. Selena is a red sword infantry unit. Her base stats are 37 HP, 25 attack, 35 speed, 32 defense, 28 res with a 157 BST. She has a super boon in attack with a super bane in resistance. Glancing at Selena's stats, she shares the trope of having high speed among sword units. Her defense and res are good enough to allow Selena to tank either physical or magical attacks. However, Selena is harshly set back by her extremely low attack. Even with a super boon, she only reaches a measly 29 attack. Increasing it is a focus in many builds, so it is highly advised to use a different weapon from her base kit if you intend to use her. Despite that, her base kit somewhat mends this by giving Selena the niche to combat anti-green armor units. Starting with her weapon the Armor Slayer, in addition to having effectiveness against armored units, it has a refinement available to the Armor Smasher, adding more might and the option for a further refinement to nullify armor bonuses during combat. Selena's assist skill is the ever-coveted reposition, which moves a targeted ally behind you. Next are her passive skills, with Triangle Adept being her A skill. This skill makes Selena's niche shine, adding 20% more combat effectiveness to units according to the weapon triangle. Alongside the Armor Slayer, Selena should easily eliminate Hectors, Amelias, and other green units. Lastly, for her C skill, she has Threatened Speed, which is not as useful since Selena's speed is quite high although you may find some use in it to avoid doubles against high-speed green units like Nino. Moving on to builds, let's first start with a budget build focusing on being an anti-green armored unit. In order to threaten armor units, Selena will keep her default armor slayer as her main weapon. Although it will take some resources, upgrading to the armor smasher is highly recommended. We keep her assist clause reposition. As for the special, Bonfire, Ignis, or Moonbow. For the A slot, keeping Triangle Adept is recommended, but you can choose to take Fury for a more general purpose A skill. The B slot is rather open, taking a Breaker skill, Vantage, Desperation, Drag Back, or Renewal are all great options. For the C slot, go with something that buffs your team, otherwise keep her threatened speed. For the seal, anything that can buff the team works, otherwise go for something that can improve Selena's combat, like attack plus 3 or quick repose. Finally, for the boon, we take attack, and for the bane, either HP or res. Before we move on to the next build, we should discuss some of Selena's options for her weapons. Out of all the inheritable swords, there are two that many people choose to use. The Wo Dao, which has 13 might and the effect of increasing your damage by 10 when special triggers, or the Slaying Edge, which has 14 might and the effect of decreasing your cooldown count by 1. For Selena, either of these swords work well with her. Both weapons have some way to patch up her low attack for more general combat. However, between the two, I slightly prefer the Wo Dao because of the effect and that matches Selena's hair color. For the other weapons, the Brave Sword, Fire Sweep Sword, Kadomatsu, Ruby Sword, and Zod Bato, I think they are either too niche or they don't make use of Selena's stat spread. For the Safeguard, I think it has potential on her, but I'll get to that later. Now let's move on to some builds featuring the Wo Dao and Slaying Edge Swords. For the Wo Dao build, the assist skill will be repositioned. As for the special, ideally Moonbow will be taken. If Steady Breath is your chosen A slot, Bonfire or Gnist can also work. For other A slots, Fury, Brazen Attack Defense are your next best options. For the B slot, it's rather flexible. I prefer taking Quick Repulse for the guaranteed 2 hits during enemy phase, but Swordbreaker, Vantage, and Wrath are all great alternatives. The C slot and Seal are flexible. Finally for the boon, Attack, Defense, and even Speed can be chosen, but Attack should be prioritized since it's the super boon. On the other hand, the Bane should be either Res or HP. If the Slaying Edge Sword is your preferred weapon, we can turn Selena into a cheaper alternative to Ira. Again, we take Reposition as the assist slot. The special is rather open, but Ether, Gale Force, or Ignis are some options. The A slot is either Distant Counter for dual phase action, Steady Breath for activating the special even faster, or alternatively, Fury. Like the Wodao, the B slot is rather flexible. Quick Repose, Desperation, Wrath are just to name a few of your options. 
the C slot is rather flexible. As for the seal, attack plus 3 or quick impulse are some good options. Again, we take attack as our primary boon, but defense and speed can work well. You can choose to take either HP or res for your bane. Moving on to this last build, it will feature the newly available safeguard sword. Since this weapon is quite new, I can't 100% recommend using this build. However, as I've said before, I think this weapon can work on Selena. For the assist slot, we take reposition. For the special, either bonfire or Gnis to make use of safeguard sword's effect. As for the special, steady breath is the best option, but brazen attack defense or fury should work. The B slot can be something defensive like guard, quick repost, or vantage, or otherwise it can be something offensive like wrath. The C and seal slots are flexible. We take attack as the boon and res as our bane. Now that I've shown a few builds, let's move on to my final thoughts on Selina. Looking at the other available sword infantries, Selina certainly lacks in the high attack, high speed department filled by Ira, Ryoma, Soleil, Mia, or Lucina. She also doesn't fill a unique niche by the likes of Vanguard Ike, Alm, Lean, Olivia, or Erica. With her base attack near the very bottom, and her holding one of the best assist skills in the entire game, it's incredibly hard to invest time into her. However, if you do decide to use her, and you don't patch up her attack with a Wodao or Slaying Edge Swords, keeping her as a budget anti-green armor is a great option. Just remember, if you can get past her snarky attitude and her competitiveness, and she's willing to like you just a small bit, she may be willing to tell you her real name. Here is my Selena. And this is my unit analysis on the cutting width.